Okay, where's my thread? Who took who took my thread? Hmm, here it is. So here we are. Uh, good morning. In case you haven't seen enough Lincoln Clausers, I'm gonna show you another one with some beautiful yak here, an olive and orange, because there's some of those uh, uh, bottom fish species that are, uh, they don't have spines. So the link cod really like to eat them and they're often olive colored and orange colored. So that's what we're gonna concentrate on here. Hope you have fun. I'm gonna make it quick. Uh, so let's get going. Okay, as promised, here we go. With an orange and olive link cod clouser tied with it's a Spirit River UV yak hair. And I really like this yak hair because it is, um, I got my choice. I could put olive on the bottom, orange on the top, or orange on the bottom and olive on the top. I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put orange on the bottom. Now, how long am I gonna make this clouser? make it about I'm gonna make it a nice long one yes indeed and let's see I'm gonna say so here's what I'm gonna do to thicken this up I'm gonna put the of course I can't get it you know it doesn't want to cooperate for me here <clears throat> it's getting all tangled up See if I can pull that around mostly to the top. Um, so I wanted the, the broken pieces underneath and the fine tip pieces on top. And so that's what I have here. And I could have cut it, but I wanted to fold it so it's extra secure and then I'm just gonna push it down like that and I'm gonna tie there and I'm gonna push it down a little bit harder. And I don't have any Loctite in there yet. You know, sometimes you, you get doing these videos and you just lose track of what you're doing. But that's okay. Cause it can be, it can be less than perfect and still be a really good fly because that's what we tie now what am i going to use in here i think i'm just going to go with thread this time I'm just going to go with thread here with a little bit of loctite i'm not really looking for flash in there uh, i'm not looking for color i'm not looking for bulk but i have white wound this quite back to the rear of the hook and that's just to decrease the extent to which this uh, belly piece will um, will foul now I got wet Loctite so I want to make sure that it doesn't get fouled up with uh, this piece I'm going to add in here so that's why Loctite is great and Loctite is also pretty pesky. So once again, now what about flash? Sure, let's put a little bit of flash in here. I'm gonna use um, so the ripple ice fiber, and this is a smolt blue, and I'm not really specifically seeking a blue color, but I, I just like this. It just, it just, uh, it's a nice translucent, a nice amount of shine. And I'm actually not wanting a whole lot of sparkle. Now, where on earth did I put my yeah, I care. Here it is. I'm not looking for a whole lot of sparkle in this, just a little bit. 
so again I want uh, I have the stubby parts of the yak here facing to the rear and I'm trying just trying to get this on here it's not wanting to do it I'm getting caught around the dumbbell eyes but there we go now looks like the back and the, the top and the belly are about the same I've got some loose fibers here I'm using a heavy thread to Danville's 210 it's you hear me talk about Danville's 210 so many times because it's just a real it lays flat and it's quite tough it has a little bit of wax on it not much but uh, it really makes nice and I can tie a ooh, size 6 clouser with this twos are just awesome and this is a 3 aught look is a TMC 811S um, and I don't think I need two whip finishes, but I often will do them because lingcod teeth can be pretty, can be, ooh, boy, they're very abrasive. So here we are, we're going, we're getting there. We're basically there. So, uh, so I've come back here adjusted the camera a little bit because I w wasn't showing very well. Here is our orange and olive lingcod clouser. Just a thread body. Uh, this just makes a very subtle body. A little bit of uh, ripple ice fiber flash in there. Uh, yak hair, UV yak hair. A little bit stiffer. It's still gonna have, you know, your bait fish don't have that much wiggle to them. Anyway, uh, durable, fishy, co ling coddy colors. Let's trim this, just, just give it a little bit of a haircut in the back there. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, compare it to one of our other ling cod flies. You got black and white, you got olive and orange both at times have been really effective. There have been some days when one has been better than the other. So they're both worth having. Really? Yeah, they're here right now. They're just, they're still thick with it.